Hi everyone, and welcome to English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Cat, and I'm going to basically hand this over to Cat because <laughs> she has an art background. I do, and I don't. So, <laughs> um, but relating to the kind of art we're going to be talking about today, when you're out and about walking around outside, do you、mm-hmm. notice sort of art and design? Absolutely, yeah. There's there's stuff all over. Like like in Taipei, every time I go outside, I'm like, oh, look at that. There's a painting out there, or、um, you know, like in Shimen where I live, there's a clock that I think has some kind of interesting like、uh, bronze sculptural column around it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and. It's just there's stuff everywhere you look. I think Taiwan is a great place to be creative. Cool.、Um, the only thing that often jumps out at me is mosaics. Oh.、Uh, just because I have a kind of personal connection, having written a, a story about mosaics that come to life once. Oh, cool. And done some research on how do they how they get made and stuff like that. Very and cool. And that was inspired by seeing a mosaic near,、um, I think, two twenty eight Peace Park or somewhere、okay. around there. Somewhere、yeah. in that. Neighborhood. There was a park, and I, I saw think, a mosaic. And... I think I might know the ones you're talking about. Yeah, where it's like little glass tiles that make up a picture. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Yeah.、Um, yeah. So that that was. But otherwise, I I don't unless I'm like really trying to pay attention、uh, to it.、Uh, see, for me, it's, it's my life. Yes. So. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah, but、um, I think the thing we're talking about today is. Almost related to mosaics because it's also a little small, and it's also made out of、uh, well, a fragile material. It's not glass, but it's like clay,、mm. uh, based on clay,、yeah. and、uh, and it's very colorful. Right.、Yeah. So let's learn all about it in our article about Taiwan's tiles. Yay! Scattered around Taiwan. Traditional Sanhuyuan homes seem austere with their red brick exteriors and bare courtyards. Look closer, though, and you may find a certain beautiful detail. Their walls are set with colorful glazed tiles, which create striking patterns that brighten the entire home. While the tiles may not be native to Taiwan, their history and use in its architecture make them true national treasures. Decorative tiles in Taiwan resemble those of several other cultures. The art form originated as maiolica, a type of European ceramics glazed with white tin and painted with enamel colors. These styles were popular in Victorian England, and the Japanese took an interest in them after resuming trade with the West in the 1850s. As the country sought to modernize and grow its industry. Japanese artists put their own spin on ceramic tiles and began exporting them to markets in Asia. With Taiwan later becoming a Japanese colony, a number of these tiles made their way to the country as well. Wealthy families coveted these dazzling pieces as splendid additions to their red brick homes. Some remaining examples include the Tai House in Beigang Township and the Huang House in Taichung City. Sadly, as old Sanhuyuan houses have been demolished over the years, many of these intricately designed tiles have been lost. Thankfully, Jiayi's Museum of Ancient Taiwan Tiles is helping to preserve them. Tiles are rescued from demolition sites and undergo a thorough process of cleaning and renewal. They can then be displayed in the museum, their colors remaining as vivid as when they were crafted. In addition, the museum promoted a crowdfunding campaign called Taiwan Decorative Tiles Renaissance, which aimed to restart production of these tiles and reintroduce them to the world. If more of these handmade treasures can be created, they may yet make a comeback and beautify Taiwan once more. Okay, so those are Taiwan's tiles. Yeah,、uh, it's very, very visual. This article, I can kind of see them. Yeah, kind of dancing before my eyes. These、yeah. quite、uh, interesting, colorful patterns. I've、so. seen a number of them、um, in different settings or like things that are made to look like them, and they're very beautiful.、Mm. They're I, really colorful. I probably have, but I wouldn't have known what I was looking at. It should be oh. 
that's nice. That's yeah. pretty.、Uh, <laughs> I have no idea of their history, but now I do.、Mm-hmm. So we're, we're talking about. We start off talking about the homes that they come from. These San He Yen homes. Yeah.、Um, and we describe them, and we say they're scattered around Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. Uh, scattered. If something is scattered, it's kind of all over the place. It's not in an orderly fashion. It, they're not all concentrated in one area. There's one here, a couple somewhere else, a、mm. few more in a third place. They're just all over, never in one big large amount. Yeah, I guess you could say if you drop a lot of something small on the floor, they probably scatter. Right. Yeah. If、floor. you sort of had a, a a little cup of like marbles or、yeah. stones and just whoosh, and then they go woo everywhere. Yep, they would go everywhere.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So these these、uh, these houses. What do we know about these homes? We know that they、uh, seemed austere. So scattered around Taiwan, traditional San He Yuan homes seemed austere with their red brick exteriors and bare courtyards. You can kind of get an idea from describing the red brick and bare courtyards that austere means kind of bare and、uh, not very decorated, not very fancy, just kind of very.、Mm, Almost minimal, yeah, plain. It plain. kind of does the job. Yeah,、um, it's 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 functional. It's not f- beautiful. Right,、yeah. exactly. And there aren't many comforts in these kinds of places either. Right.、Um, so we do describe them. We say they have red brick exteriors. The、mm-hmm. exterior of something is the outside. So these walls, they they've just got red bricks have been used to build the walls. Nobody's painted them. Nobody's done anything to them. These、yeah. are just the outer walls. And Or they're, they're painted just, white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. They're just plain red brick.、Mm-hmm. Okay, and they have bare courtyards, so a big open space on the inside without anything really in it. It's not.、Yeah. These aren't the beautiful homes with big kind of fancy gardens with ponds and、yeah. you know, nine turn bridges and the rest. These right. Are, you might have are, one in the back, but not in the front. Yeah, these are super simple, basic kind of homes.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I mean, we're talking about something that is not austere and、mm. not. Bear. This says, look closer though, and you may find a certain beautiful detail. Their walls, the walls of these homes, are set with colorful glazed tiles, which create striking patterns that brighten the entire home. So yeah, we're talking about these the the things that are、uh, brightening up the house, which are these glazed tiles.、Mm-hmm. And when something is glazed, that's、um, talking about. I mean, you could talk about it with donuts, or you could talk about it with ceramics. I think those are the two big things that are glazed. It's、okay. basically a shiny covering, a shiny transparent covering is put over the top of it, which protects it. So donuts are glazed with frosting, and that's why they look shiny. And tiles are glazed with usually.、Um, it can、um, be anything. They can be made with bits of powdered up metal,、yeah. with other layers、yeah. of something. Glass. We'll look at later. Yeah, we、uh, we said later that it's tin in this case. Yeah, exactly. Which is a kind of Metal. Right,、uh, different things, and it's done before the clay, which we'll look at later, is put into the fire. So、mm. they shake the clay, they put a glaze on the outside, then they put it in the oven to bake it. Right, and then it ends up it's shiny on the outside, it's harder、mm-hmm. on the outside. You、yeah. could also glaze.、Um, people will roast meat, and they'll、oh, put a glaze、yes. of like maybe it's honey or maybe some other sauce. If、yeah. you barbecue food, you'll put like some. But like, it's got to be something kind of sugary and shiny. shiny. Sugary and shiny, exactly.、Yeah. On the and then it goes in the fire. So when it's kind of comes out of the fire, it's got this nice outer surface on it. That's right. So, so it the, makes it shiny. Yes, those are our, that's glazed, which is the adjective. We'll later talk and show you glaze as like a noun or something like that. I think、mm-hmm. maybe later in the article. So these tiles, while they may not be native to Taiwan, their history and use in its Taiwan's architecture make them true national treasures.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, we didn't. Oh, Taiwan did not invent these tiles, but they've used them in very cool ways.、Mm-hmm. And the history and how they came here has sort of made them a very special part of Taiwan's houses, its architecture, its buildings. Yeah. And we're going to dive into that history in our next paragraph. Right. So it says decorative tiles in Taiwan resemble those of several other cultures. Now we're getting into this word decorative. What does that mean? 
It means it's used for decoration. It's,、uh, it's <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you think of the word decorate verb, decoration noun, decorative is the adjective that matches these two. So、mm -hmm. it's used to make something look more attractive, to make something look more colourful and interesting, and you know, catch the eye and have people think, oh, that's、yeah. nice. I'm going to talk about it. So it doesn't have any other purpose except to make it look good. Right, so we were talking about austere houses earlier, where they have function but not form. I think decorative is more like form but not function. Yeah, that's yeah. a very good way to put it. They're almost the, the exact opposite: austere and decorative. Right. Yeah. I mean,、yeah. jewelry is generally decorative. Yes. Some some show other things, like a wedding ring is a symbol of、mm -hmm. marriage, but earrings, you know, other Necklaces, jewelry, bracelets,、yeah. those are almost always decorative. They just kind、yep. of look nice and make the person wear. Them look nice. Yeah, sort of like these tiles make the houses look nice.、Mm -hmm. Now, the art form originated as majolica, or you could say majolica, but I think majolica sounds nicer. It does. A type of European ceramics glazed with white tin and painted with enamel colors. So yeah, we've got now. We know we've talked about they are made out of clay, and ceramics are yeah they are baked、um, objects made、mm. out of clay. So pots. Plates,、um, anything like that. Yeah, go up to、yeah. Inga basically, and、yeah. go, to, go anything that's in the Inga Museum is ceramics. That's right. And we use glaze as a verb here. So we talked about glazed tiles. So that's the sort of adjective or、mm -hmm. modifying form. Here, glazed is being used as a verb. The ceramics were glazed. So a covering of glaze was put on them、mm -hmm. with white tin and painted with enamel colours. So enamel and glaze are a little. There's a similarity there. Enamel、yeah. is a hard, shiny surface. Now enamel does serve for protection as well as decoration. Right. And enamel is made of powdered glass. Yes. So you powder up the glass, which means you can introduce colours because you've、mm -hmm. got glass can be colours. Yeah. So painted with enamel colours. These are paints made up of Powdered glass and liquid、yeah. that will then harden over the outside of the clay, so it'll be colourful, but it'll also be harder. You can talk about the enamel on your teeth as well. That's、mm -hmm. the outer covering、yeah. that protects your teeth. But a lot of ceramics will have enamel colours because it will mean they can last longer and they can take on all kinds of interesting and attractive colours. Right, and they look extra super shiny. Exactly. Right. So now we know they're basically it's clay, tin, and glass、mm. put together into this very colorful tile. So it says these styles were popular in Victorian England, and the Japanese took an interest in them after resuming trade with the West in the 1850s.、Hmm. So yeah,、um, they originally came from Italy. That's not something we see in this article, but that, that is what's the truth. They came from Italy, and the English really liked them in about the late 19th century. Yeah, if I think about old houses, you probably would see a lot of kind of colorful ceramic tiles like yeah, this. Yeah, or、around. even vases. Yeah, you'd see, you'd maybe see them. As maybe a little bit of a garden, or、mm -hmm. on some of the walls, or something like that.、Yeah. My my parents' house was built in 1880. Wow! So if I'm trying to think, if we had anything like that anywhere, it's got red brick,、mm. but I I don't probably not a San Juan though. No, it's it's <laughs> it's not, and I. I'm trying to think if there were any colourful tiles when we first moved in because a lot of work has been done to the house. Maybe,、mm. maybe there were, but I can't. Name. I, I can't think, think of any. I think your fine china or、um, like a china vase might be more what you'd see for Victorian majolica. Yeah, yeah, rather than actual house decorations and、right. architecture. Yeah. So、uh, we see that these were popular in England when Japan kind of opened up to the West and started trading in the 1850s. Japan liked them as well.、Mm -hmm. They thought these are very pretty. We don't really have these,、mm -hmm. or we don't and, do、yeah. it in this way. The、so. Japanese know how to appreciate art, so they will take it and they'll. Make it their own. <laughs> exactly. So we see as the country, meaning Japan, sought to modernize and grow its industry. So the tile industry, ceramics、mm -hmm. industry, Japanese artists put their own spin on ceramic tiles. And began exporting them to markets in Asia.、Mm -hmm. So here we've got the word modernize.、Um, it's 
basically the verb form of modern. If something is modern, it's new, it's up to date, it's kind of been created in recent times. So if you modernize something, you make it new. You add the latest technology, the latest styles to it. You make it look more new, more current. Right, exactly. So Japan was trying to modernize and to basically become more industrial, more Western-like, more in line with the major powers of the day. So Japanese artists put their own spin on ceramic tiles. So、uh, we have this. Word spin, but it's more the phrase "put your own spin on something," right? Which means to、um, kind of make it your own. You make it in your own style. You're doing a, a thing that somebody else has done, but you're doing it in a way that is unique to you. That's putting your own spin on it. And、yeah. then ceramic is the、uh, adjective version of ceramics. Yeah. So the noun ceramics has to be always pluralized. It's always、right. got an s on it, but the adjective does not have to. So you can say ceramic tiles, ceramic vases, ceramic plates, things like that. Okay, so and of course, if Japan has them at this time in its history, Taiwan gets them too,、mm-hmm. as we see with Taiwan later becoming a Japanese colony. A number of these tiles made their way to the country as well. So Japanese, you know, rich people, builders, they came over.、Mm-hmm. They say, okay, we want these in our houses. Maybe we'll create some industry here, so we don't keep having to bring them over from Japan. It makes、right. sense to, you know, Taiwan's got clay. Taiwan's got. Tin, we Taiwan's got glass. We can make them all here and not have to transport them. True, true. So a number of these tiles made their way here. They were probably imported by, like you said, wealthy families, and that's what the next sentence says. Wealthy families coveted these dazzling pieces as splendid additions to their red brick homes, and this was. Both Japanese and Taiwanese、mm-hmm. wealthy people, so they coveted them, which means to really, really want something. When you covet something, it's like, oh, I've got to have that. Like if you are, I don't know, you go shopping and you see this bag that you just have to have. You're like, oh, I'm coveting it. You desire it so much. That's basically covetousness. There's、yes. actually a name for a sin. One of the sin being covetous. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of those words that's almost verging on the kind of negative, kind、yeah. of greedy meaning.、Uh-huh. Um, it's it's not always don't covet your bad, neighbor's wife. Yeah, <laughs> it's not always a bad meaning, but it it certainly means a real strong desire to、mm. possess this thing.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and they wanted them because they were dazzling. They、mm-hmm. were wonderful. When you looked at them, you kind of went, "Wow, that's amazing." So here, dazzling is being used to mean the Same as stunning, really beautiful,、mm-hmm. gorgeous, and so on. All those kind of words like that. Yeah, you kind of get stars in your eyes when you look at them. Exactly.、Mm-hmm. We can describe、uh, other things as dazzling. For example, sunlight reflecting off the water or the snow into your eyes. We'd、oh. say dazzling,、uh, and that、yes. kind of has the meaning of kind of blinding you. Yeah. So it's being used here in a not really such a literal way. It's it's almost saying this thing is so beautiful. Oh, I've been blinded for. A few moments by, by how attractive、mm. it is. So yes, they were splendid. They were wonderful additions to their red brick homes, which、mm-hmm. we've said are kind of、eh, ordinary, functional. They do、yeah. the job. They keep us warm. They put a roof over our heads. But we can make them look a lot nicer with these dazzling tiles. Right. Exactly. And so there are、um, some famous homes that actually have these, as we see. Some remaining examples include the Tai House in Beigang. Township that's in Yunlin, I think, and the Huang House in Taichung City. Okay. Well,、yeah. we'll find out more about sort of these、uh, tiles, Taiwan tiles, in the modern age in a few moments. But right now, we're going to take a short break. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are discussing Taiwan's tiles. These、uh, glazed ceramic tiles, which make、uh, homes really beautiful、mm-hmm. by adding some colour, by adding some shine. By just generally being nice to look at, right? So we've looked at the history of these tiles, and we found that they in Taiwan they were often in traditional Sanhe Yan homes. Yeah. 
But as we see in the third paragraph, sadly, as old San Hyun houses have been demolished over the years, many of these intricately designed tiles have been lost.、Aww. So yeah, these houses were old-fashioned. They didn't have a lot of modern conveniences, and、mm-hmm. they would have got you know kind of worse over time. So many yeah, have been if, if you don't keep them up, right? Yeah. yeah, and many of them have been demolished. To demolish something is to knock that thing down and. Just remove it from the area completely. Yeah. So it's not it's not just leaving it there. It's basically bringing a big truck or bulldozer and or a wrecking ball. Yeah, and just smashing it into pieces and taking all those pieces away, so there is nothing left.、Mm-hmm. You often see old houses getting demolished so new ones can be put in their place. Yeah. We can use demolished also、uh, if we're really hungry and we eat a meal very quickly and leave、yeah. nothing left. We'd say, "Wow, I demolished that pizza." Or if you win a game with lots and lots of points over the other team, right? We demolish yeah, them. Yeah, you really beat them you and destroyed yes, them. Leave、yeah. nothing. De- destroy is a very good synonym here. Yeah. All right. So they've been demolished, sadly, and so that means that their tiles were demolished with them. These int- intricately designed tiles are, for some reason, have a really hard time saying that word intricately. Word.、Mm. Yeah. So something that is intricate is、um, very detailed, very beautiful. If you look at it up close, you might see a lot of small, like little beautiful details. So things like、um, certain clothes that have little patterns on them that are intricate,、mm-hmm. or Uh, tiny little works of art. They're very intricate. If it seems to have been done with a lot of a lot of care and a lot of detail, it's an intricate thing.、Mm. Yeah. So if it's intricately designed, then of course that's the adverb with ly. Yeah, designed in an intricate way. Yes. So with a lot of care and attention to detail.、Mm-hmm. So a lot of these really beautiful tiles have been lost. But there is some good news too. Yes, we see that thankfully, Jai's Museum of Ancient Taiwan Tiles is helping to preserve them. Hurrah!、Uh, which is, I mean, there's a lot of museums around in Taiwan which actually do、yeah. a very good job of of trying to kind of keep. Uh, keep a lot of these older things alive. Taiwan is a super modern country, and、yeah. it likes to progress and、mm. become very convenient and very sort of up to date and technologically advanced. Right,、uh, but and history is, is also important. Yeah, and it is important.、Uh, so these museums do a, a good job, I think, of sort of keeping alive a lot of the old traditions and making sure they're not lost in the rush towards sort of modern. Progress and convenience. True, true. So the tiles are rescued from demolition sites and undergo a thorough process of cleaning and renewal. So first we have this word demolition. Now demolition is just basically the noun version of demolish. Something that. Is demolished is scheduled for demolition. It undergoes demolition. That is the act of demolishing it.、Mm-hmm. And then we have the word thorough, which is such a great word because it looks like through, it looks like though, and it's not pronounced like either.、Mm. So thorough is an adjective that basically means very, very complete. So you make sure that everything is done properly. You make sure that it's all done a hundred percent. So when they're cleaned, they are cleaned as Best they possibly can be, probably up to the point that they look new. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I will note that a British pronunciation of that is thorough. Thorough. That's how we say. Okay, that's thorough. How we say that. Thorough,、um, thorough. But both are both of of course absolutely okay. So、mm-hmm. yeah, they clean them. So that's making sure all the kind of dirt, dust, oil, whatever has been staining it over the years is gone. And renewal. So that's maybe fixing, maybe adding a bit of clay to the back. You、mm-hmm. know, the sort of、um, yeah. the non-glaze side. Yeah. Maybe they have to re-glaze to cover up some cracks. That yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe renew the enamel. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yes. Kind of restore it a bit. So it's in its original condition.、Mm-hmm. So we see they can then be displayed in the museum. Their colours remaining as vivid as when they were crafted. So,、uh, yeah, thanks to this restoring and maybe so that's maybe reglazing, maybe refiring a bit in the ovens, adding an extra coat. The colours are just as vivid or bright and lively and colourful as when they were first made.、Mm-hmm. And I think that the way that they were made probably means that a lot of their colours can be. Preserved very well, they won't fade because of sunlight. Because ceramics tend to、uh, be better preserved than items of other materials. Yeah, the glaze and the enamel does help with all that kind of stuff.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, these things are built to last. Exactly, and. 
Then there's one more nice thing that the museum is trying to do. It says, in addition, the museum promoted a crowdfunding campaign called Taiwan Decorative Tiles Renaissance or、mm. Renaissance, which aimed to restart production of these tiles and reintroduce them to the world.、Mm. So yeah, the the、um, production of the tiles stopped. Um, in Japan after World War II, because they just didn't have any money, because、right. they just lost a war. Yes. Yeah. So、um, now the、uh, Jai Museum is thinking like, well, these are so nice and people like them so much, and so why don't we just start making them again? We can. Absolutely. So that's what they tried to do with a crowdfunding campaign.、Hmm. Now you might know crowdfunding sites like Kickstarter Patreon. or Patreon. Yeah, Patreon,、that's、something like、one. that. Yeah, there are. Yeah. Some Some specifically Taiwanese ones that, whose names escape me at the moment, yeah,、exactly. but there are there are a couple of like、mm. uh, Taiwan-based things. So, what's the idea with well, crowdfunding? Crowdfunding is when you put forward a project idea or a proposal, and you. Ask people to give, like you ask many, many people to give you a little bit of money,、mm. and through just the crowd funding you, that's why it's crowd funding.、Um, you get enough money collected to be able to accomplish your goal. Yep, and in this case, the goal or the campaign is the Taiwan Decorative Tiles Renaissance.、Mm. Uh, when we think about Renaissance, we think about a period in sort of thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth century、yeah. Italy. It was basically、Your、when、friends. people in Italy rediscovered. Discovered a lot of classical forms of art and literature and music and things、mm-hmm. like that from the classic era of Rome and Greece, and they、yeah. said, "Well, let's bring that into the modern era." Right. So a Renaissance is when people rediscover old ways of doing things. And classic ways of doing things, and start doing them again. Yeah, and make them better, and make them modern. Exactly. So it's 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 the French word for rebirth. Ah, I did not know that. Yes. There we go. So. So. That's quite、yeah. useful. It's, okay. It's rebirth.、Yeah. Yep, and that of course means restarting production. We'll have workshops and factories making them, reintroducing them to the world, either through Taiwan's architecture or selling them and so on, exporting them. Yeah. And we finish by saying, if more of these handmade treasures can be Created, they may yet make a comeback and beautify Taiwan once more. I hope so. Yeah. So not many homes are using these tiles right now. They、mm-hmm. either they're too expensive or there's just not enough in production to make them cost. You know, a low amount so that、yeah. people can reasonably do it, unless they're super rich. Right. But we're hoping they make a comeback. To make a comeback means to have not been used or not been popular for a long time, or kind of just be behind and forgotten. But then come back. You are back in fashion. You're back being popular again. You're kind、mm-hmm. of back leading something. It's used in sport. If a team is getting beaten and then they start leading the game, they've made a comeback. We could talk、right. about certain hair. Styles or music styles making a comeback. They、yeah. were popular twenty years ago, then they were unpopular, and now they're back being popular again. Yeah, I think there's kind of a thirty-year cycle with fashion. Fashion、yes. makes a comeback every thirty years. Yeah, you'll start to see old things coming back again, and、mm-hmm. things that were popular five years ago fade away again. That sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. So that's what we know about these Taiwanese tiles. You probably have seen them around. If you haven't, you can go、uh, have a look for them. There are stores that sell these actually. Um, I'm not sure if they're old ones or if they're newly produced. They might be, but、uh, yeah, go and have some research. It's really nice to look at, and、cool. that's all we've got today. That is all we've got time for. Thanks for listening, everybody. For English Digest, I'm Pat, and I'm Kat. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye.